Did Lothering have an e lineage? It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for elves. Where did the elves live then? Stables and outbuildings mostly. I think I like alienages better. Do men find you intimidating? What about Wesley? Did he? Isabella. What? Too soon? Too soon, too personal, too... everything coming from you. Oh, sore spot. If you don't shut up, I'll give you a sore spot. So, Isabella, you're a captain. That's right, big girl. What of it? I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. I never docked. And you're no port authority. And you are no merchant. Ooh, scrutiny. Why are you watching me like that? You have Valaslin. The same markings that the Dalish have. Yours are not made of lyrium. No, they're made of blood. Our blood. That's what Valaslin means. Blood writing. It's a mark of adulthood. Mine were carved into my flesh against my will. In a ritual I remember only for the agony it caused me. I'm... so sorry. You've probably never met a Dalish before, have you? I wouldn't know. I'm sure you'd be able to tell. Dalish aren't much like the elves in the cities. The smug sense of superiority does give you away. I enjoy a man with markings like that. You've enjoyed many, I suspect. Where I come from, they're called tattoos. Sailors get them all the time. Not made of lyrium, I'd imagine. <laughs> Not a one. And the pictures are different. Usually breasts. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. That's me. I'm a helper. Certainly your people have stories about the Dalish, no? My people? The elves in Tavinta. They must have heard of us. They've heard. They just don't care. But if they ran away, the Dalish would help them. You might as well say. If they flew into the sky, they could live in the clouds. What would they eat in the clouds? There's nothing there but fluff and the occasional bird. This is why nobody takes the Dalish seriously. So you freed a group of slaves? Would-be slaves. They weren't slaves yet. Still, you did the right thing. Many would turn a blind eye. Don't read too much into it, all right? It just seemed a good idea at the time. So this relic you mentioned losing... You have pretty eyes. I have pretty eyes. You elves have such pretty eyes. Even the men. It makes me want to pluck them out and wear them as a necklace. I wouldn't suggest trying. Oh, I would never try. Not without reason, of course. Forget I said anything. I don't want your pity. Are you talking to me? You said you were sorry about the ritual I endured. Keep your sorrow. I only meant... You have all the freedom none of our kind enjoy, and you throw it away. On what? Our people need to reclaim their heritage. A heritage of defeat? To what end? Would you truly turn your back on your own history? There's so much we don't know. It's not my history. It's simply history. So what's with that magical fisting thing you do? Um, sorry? You know, when you stick your hand into people. Oh, that. Yes, it's, uh, talent. You could make so much coin with that. This one time, I was sailing to Lemeron, and there was a fight between two of my men. It was over a dice game, or the last piece of toast or something. Sailors, they're touchy about their toast. Is this going anywhere? It will if you let me finish. So, there's a knife fight, and Jim ends up with a broken off blade stuck in his shoulder. It's very deep in there, and we're out at sea at least a week from the nearest port. If you were there, you could have reached in and plucked that blade right from his flesh. That's your whole point? Pretty much. So, Elf, that uh, thing you do with your hand... I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. 
I'll try it sometime and find out. Is brooding a sport into Winter? Do they hold competitions, hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. Hm. Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. So, where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. Huh. I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody peak. So you're a funny dwarf. For Elden's taking my work, not a chance. I understand you're named after a famous knight. Everyone always brings up the name. I've not heard of Sir Aveline. Is she very famous? Really? They don't tell of her glorious downfall into Vinter? Not to slaves. Pardon me for saying so, but thank the Maker for that. So, what do you do, Aveline? You know I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk, is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. You do not like your name. My name is a wish my father made, and I did want to be a knight, but... I see. Still, it's a good name. A strong name. What were you named after? I don't know my real name. My master called me Fenris, his little wolf. Could you not call yourself something different now? Couldn't you? <sighs> a fine point. Maybe I should put you to use, Farrick. Have you penned some warnings for the lawless? Who's that for? Are most criminals big readers? Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. Thank you. I get the point. So this master of yours wants your markings back? Skin and all? So his hunters told me, unwillingly. So why not cover them up? Wouldn't that make you harder to find? Let them come. I am not one to hide. Still, if it were me... It's not. You're very different from other elves. Oh? You know them all? No, I, I just... You look different. There's no denying that. It is what I am. And unlike the problems you claim to have, I really did have no choice. Do we know anyone who isn't brooding every hour of the day? Like attracts like, it seems. So you've really never thought of hiding from those hunters? To what end? So you could, I don't know, have a life? What life do you have? There are no hunters after you at all. I have a life. One that you complain about. We are not always free to do as we wish, as you should well know. I do have a life. Then I stand corrected. I'm sorry about your sister. She sounds like a special girl. Why? Because she was a mage. Your brother said she had a good heart. Being on the run never made her bitter. Yes. Yes, I'm sure the Chantry's got a shrine with her portrait on it. I was trying to be nice. Stick to Surly. It works for you. You know, Fenris, I have a tattoo. You have a what? A tattoo. A lot of us got them before Ostagar. It's a Mabari, for strength. Does it curse you with the ability to reach into a man and tear out his insides? Uh, I can make it bark. Please don't. Yes, refrain. That's... Ooh. Rather see it wag. Seconded. Agreed. <sighs> nice day to be planning a trip into the deep roads, don't you think? The blight, the dampness, the festering darkness filled with tainted rats. Shut up. You've got a real chip on your shoulder, you know. I've got a big blade on my shoulder, Meiji. Right. Wonder what you're compensating for. 
You ever going to stop harping on the mages here? No. They aren't what you saw in Tavinta. The moment they are free, mages will make themselves magisters. They're slaves. You should want to help them. I don't. Did I hear correctly? You are an abomination. Why don't you shout? I don't think everyone heard you. Do you see yourself as harmless, then? An abomination who would never harm anyone? Like ripping someone's heart out of his chest? I did that at the behest of no demon. So we agree that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer. Good. Why was your friend made tranquil? Do you know? No. And it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. I know some mages who deserve that. Really? Perhaps they should start making slaves tranquil. Then they wouldn't dream of escaping. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Slaves do not attract demons that try to possess them. Which clearly justifies it. What a perfect solution. And then Isabella went to the Chantry and saw that it was boring. Canticle of Isabella, stanza one, verse one. Is that statue lady supposed to be someone important? She looks a bit cross. But high town. Everything fun takes place behind closed doors. It occurs to me, I don't know how Sandermount got its name. It certainly isn't Elven, is it? If all the elves fought all the Canari, who do you think would win? If you can. What a terrible place to get lost. Not that there are many good places for that, I guess. You have such pretty hair. What a lovely color. Other children used to laugh at me for having ginger hair. Really? Oh, I bet you were cute. Did you have pigtails? Sometimes. How precious. Little Aveline running around the village with her flaming orange pigtails streaming behind her. And little boys all scattering and screaming for mercy as she approached. Shut up, whore. I'll let you run your fingers through it if you want. Your chest hair. My fingers. Oh, Varric, stop. You're making me quiver. You know you want to. Oh, I do. I can't resist you. No woman can. I know. The terrible burden. Hmm. Apostate prostitutes? Apostitutes! <laughs> Simpler. So, there must be mages in Tevinta who don't use blood magic. Of course. There are slaves. The magisters do not hesitate to collar their own kind. But no magisters. Why must you go on about this? No magister would turn down an advantage over his rivals. If he did, he'd be dead. You know... To use blood magic, you need to look a demon in the eye and accept his offer. I just figured some of them would say no. For aesthetic reasons, if nothing else. Is the coast really wounded? How did that happen? Can't it be healed? What are you looking at? Your brother is a mage. As were your sister and father. And I'm not. What of it? Nothing. It's not always passed to all siblings. But it's good to know you understand our plight. Shove your plight. You don't like me, Carver. I don't like you. That's unfortunate. Hating someone just because they're a mage is a shameful thing. I don't hate you because you're a mage. I hate you because you won't shut up about it. Oppression this, Templars that. I'd heard enough long before you. Maybe it's time you put some thought into it.